Cecil County man facing animal cruelty charges tonight after plunging a knife into his dog's neck and mistakenly leaving it for dead. ABC 2 News Jeff Hager spoke with the suspect today and has more on the attack, which actually prompted his actions. Jeff? Kelly, the dog in question is an American Staffordshire Terrier, commonly known as a pit bull, which attacked another dog. But it was the means its owner used to try to put it down that makes him an alleged criminal in the eyes of the law. His leg still bears the scars of a previous bite. So Reggie Farley of Northeast says he knew all too well that his beloved pit bull named Thor was prone to attack. My dog attacked me before. Uh, he attacked a couple people. I had a party attack like three people. He got out recently, attacked like two dogs down the street. So he's been on an aggressive like rampage mode, I guess you would call it. And the rampage continued when Thor got out of his fence and attacked Cujo, a three-year-old shepherd lab mix down the street late Wednesday. I pulled up at the end when they got the dogs apart. The owner got the dog off my dog. He's doing good. He's got a little bit of swelling. He's got some drainage tubes in, but he's doing good. He's barking, so that's a good sign. While Cujo survived the attack, Thor's owner would soon make a decision to end his dog's life that would land him in jail. I hear the yelling. I go out there and get my dog, come back. When I come back, he's attacking me again. So I said, at this point, you know what? I love my dog to death, but he has to, he has to go. And it wasn't me being cruel. Like, I'm cruel to my animal was at the point where it was too much. When a trooper responded to a call for a dog attack, he heard the sound of another canine yelping loudly from behind Farley's home. The trooper found this pit bull uh, laying there grievously wounded and uh, with a knife sticking out of its neck. Based on the, the severity of the wound and the suffering that the animal was enduring, uh, the trooper used his department uh, issued pistol to end its suffering. Uh, and, but it is, uh, and, and then immediately arrested this uh, owner uh, for animal cruelty. Farley claims he thought he had killed the dog. And he was just as surprised as the trooper when he found it writhing in pain. He was still a little moving. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I love that dog to death. You can ask my neighbors. Everybody in this neighborhood knows my dog. I love my dog to death. That's like my kid. That hurts. That's my best friend. So, yes, it hurts me very bad. It's not something I'm gloating about. Accident or not, Farley now faces a pair of animal cruelty charges that are misdemeanors, which means each carries a maximum of 90 days in jail and $1,000 fines if he's convicted.